Hi everyone, welcome to the Earth Science Regents Review podcast series created by the Homics Middle School Earth Science Department. Today we're going to focus on page 14 in the reference table, the electromagnetic spectrum. What this chart actually displays is going to be all the waves that are given off by the sun. Okay, let's start off with the left hand side. These are what we call your decreasing wavelength waves. What do we mean by decreasing wavelength? From one wave to the next, from the top of one wave to the top of the next, tend to be very, very small. They tend to be very squished together, which means that you tend to get a lot of waves hit you per unit time. So whether we're measuring how many waves you're gonna hit per hour, per minute, per second, you tend to get bombarded with a lot of waves in a very short period of time. These waves tend to be very high energy. You tend to get what's called a high frequency, which means they come about much more frequent than say your increased wavelength waves. So your gamma rays, your x-rays, your ultraviolet, they're very dangerous. Most of these are absorbed by the upper atmosphere or the ozone layer. We know that some ultraviolet rays do hit us here on the surface because you tend to get tan or you tend to get sunburn if you get exposed for a long period of time. The right side of the chart is going to be your increasing wavelength. Your increasing wavelength is going to be represented by the distance between one wave to the next is going to be much bigger. So you don't get as many waves they tend to be much less frequent and not as high energy, so they're not as dangerous to you. This is going to include your infrared, your microwaves, and your radio waves. Okay, Right in the middle is going to be your visible light. Visible light is actually categorized as a short wavelength. They're going to be in the decreasing wavelength. So your visible light, due to the fact that it's the only wave that we can actually detect with our eyes, how do we know? We can see colors violet, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. Okay, Your violet is considered short wavelength. Okay, Your red is categorized as an increased wavelength. It's not coincidental that violet is right next to ultraviolet in the electromagnetic spectrum, and red is right next to infrared. So that's it for about now. Good luck.